Hello and welcome back to Little Grey Box. It's Phoebe here with Matt behind the camera. And on this channel, we share with you all our experiences and tips to help you to travel well. Today's episode, we are in Australia in sunny Queensland in our beautiful hometown of Brisbane because we are going to be showing you some of the very best budget friendly things to see, do, and eat. lunch here at Tatsu Ramen and Gyoza Bar in Fortitude Valley. This place is right off the Chinatown Mall. Matt and I found it by accident one day and it has become one of our favorite spots to eat Japanese food in Brisbane. And they have an amazing set of lunch specials, you guys. Now we have gone for their bento boxes, which are about $16.50. They have loads of options. Salmon, teriyaki chicken, wagyu beef. Matt has got their karaji chicken and I have got their teriyaki tofu box. Now that comes with some dumplings, some beautiful gyoza there. We've got some croquettes some rice oh look at that teriyaki tofu the miso soup is amazing now in addition to this they also have some curries which I think are around $12 and they do some donburi for $13 so it is super affordable <laughs> very familiar with all the really cool laneways here in Pondicherry Valley but if you are visiting from interstate or overseas make sure you come down and check them out you've got Bakery, Wynn, Lucky and California Lane it is of course free to wander around and check them out and if something does take your fancy you can duck in maybe grab a bite to eat take advantage of some awesome lunch specials or definitely try and check out the Valley Laneway markets which go down on certain Saturdays of the month Another really great affordable spots to eat a lot of the fries they have so many vegan options in fact I think their whole menu is plant based and everything's really affordable and fat dumpling behind me if you love dumplings they have some amazing affordable lunchtime specials yeah, so that will fulfill your tummy without trading your budget for a free dose of culture, you want to come here to the Judith Wright Art Center. Now they have a whole range of rotating free exhibitions and we have popped in and we're going to have a little wander around at what they've got going today. Oh yes, so a tasting paddle here at the New Step Brewing Co will set you back a whopping $12. I think we can swing that. Now because Matt and I are driving, we're just going to be sharing one. Keep it under budget. You know how we do. So we've got four of their delicious beers to try. We steered clear of the ones that we know and love like a three quarter time, which is really, really delicious. And we've gone for this gorgeous selection. So I'm going to start here. This one is a sour. Um, I developed a love for sours after the awesome brewery tour we did on the Gold Coast. Oh yes. Oh, that smells really fresh. Oh, that is tart. For a little bit of budget-friendly shopping, we're coming here to the Salvation Army stores. This one's on the corner of Pro and Doggett Street. I've never been here. That's a really great thrift store. Definitely worth checking out. And there are loads more dotted around Brisbane and through Paddington and areas like that. So just jump online, do a search, and you'll be spoiled for choice. When it starts to get around that fantastic, gorgeous sunset time, there are so many ways you can take advantage of Brisbane's beautiful scenery and incredible weather. Now for out of towners, you might like to head up to Mount Cooper to catch the sunset. That is totally free. You could take a walk around the Brisbane River area in places like South Bank, or of course you could head up to the Kangaroo Point Cliffs, which is an amazing spot to catch the sunset. But as locals, we have done that kind of stuff too dead. So we wanted to do something a little bit different. So we have come here to Hai Hai Ramen to take full advantage of their $10 ramen hour of power, Monday and Tuesdays from 4.30 to 5.30. really good if you love going to the movies gold class style but you hate paying for it have I got the tip for you here at the Red Hill Cinema you can sign up on their website and get discounted rates so Matt and I have been coming here and getting tickets for $12 it is so so good you guys I highly recommend and here it is in all its glory the seating is so comfortable these chairs actually recline over here so you can get your feet up you can sit back it's so cozy it's not too cold oh, table it's got a door City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. Yeah. Good morning.
you guys. Now for a budget friendly breakfast here in Brisbane, you want to come to Brown Dog Cafe in Wollongabba. Well, this place has been around for ages. Matt and I have been coming here for years and years and years. It's had a makeover, the menu's been updated, but the things that we've always loved about it are still the same. It is great coffee and great food that's really well priced. Lots of cool artwork like you can see behind me and we just love it here. And the food looks amazing. So I have just gone for this smash ever this morning. The coffee is great. Matt has got their breakfast wrap. The majority of things on the menu are $13. That's a good breakfast if you ask me. Rich to go off and spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want. Keep drawing down the old place. Really good. Me and Jack will get stony, walk around and get lost and they got A walking tour is a fantastic way to see any city and if you are visiting from out of town or even if you're a local that wants to appreciate Brisbane even more, you can do a free guided tour with the Brisbane Greeters. Now you can book your spot online and like I said, they are free. The one we're doing today is the Greeters Choice and it is a four hour guided walking tour which starts right here in King George Square. Now as our amazing greeter Sia has pointed out, there are a couple of really great free activities you can do here too. You can head inside, there is an exhibition gallery behind me in City Hall on level 3 um, and that is thanks to the Museum of Brisbane and you can also take a free guided tour right up to the top of the clock up there, right up to the top of the house. Isn't that fantastic? You'll get some great views and it's a really cool way to see Brisbane. Wait, they're leaving without us! I mix and mingle with the people till I learn a little. Now these are done by a local artist known as the Blue Ninja and as the, the name would suggest the Blue Ninja is called the Phantom. Uh, nobody or very few people know who he is. In a sense, he's Brisbane's Banksy and his calling card is these awesome blue pieces that you see and you should definitely keep your eyes peeled if you are wandering around. We saw some yesterday in the Fortitude Valley laneways. Just these little blue pieces that appear all over the place. So keep your eyes peeled for them. They are famous and they are very special to see. botanical gardens a little bit more you should come up here to QUT and there's an information kiosk for the botanical gardens where they have the launch site for their free guided tours now it looks to me from the sign that they run daily from 11 at 11 and 1 p.m. so get in there check it out won't cost you a cent what I love about the tour like the one we're doing today with Brisbane greeters is that even if you're a local you learn things that you never would have otherwise and you see things you never would have otherwise and one of the things I've learned today is that right here in Old Government House this is where the first Lamington was created by a French chef for Lord and Lady Lamington right back in the 1900s. This is the birthplace of the Lamington. Thank you. Thank you. The Greeters Tour is continuing over into South Bank and Sia is going to be showing everybody that part of Brisbane. It's really beautiful over there so you should definitely check it out. If you're not from Australia you need to know we take our coffee very very seriously and if you are in this city you want to come here to John Mills himself now this place does awesome coffee and it's one of those spots if you weren't local and you didn't know about it you wouldn't know about it now it's actually tucked between two streets Charlotte and what's that one Elizabeth I think so. I think it's Elizabeth Street, but you can access it from Charlotte Street. Just look for archives, find books, and you want to look for a sign that has a hand like this on it and the JMH logo. Otherwise, try and find it with Google Maps. But their coffee is so, so good. And if you aren't a coffee drinker, they do some really great hot chocolates, including a 70% dark one, too, which is absolutely divine. Now, I'm going to be really honest with you accommodation in Brisbane isn't notorious for being super cheap. If you want something really really cheap you're going to be looking at spots like backpackers but if you do want to stay at a hotel that's a little bit nice some affordable options include Mantra Terrace Brisbane, Madison Tower Mill and the Ridge Hotel. Now all three of these are located in Spring Hill. It's not an area that's notorious for being the most beautiful part of Brisbane but it is an area that's close to the CBD and everything you're going to want to see and do without breaking the bank and of course you can also check out something like Airbnb if you like too. Now there are so many great affordable places to eat in Brisbane and we've been to lots of them. Places like the Eat Street Markets but if you love cheap eats and you love Asian food any local will tell you the place to come is Sunnybank and that's exactly what we've done. <laughs> Now you guys, this place is super low-key and if you've done any kind of travel throughout Asia, you will know it is the low-key, down and dirty places that often serve up the best food and this one's no different. You don't come here for the service, you do not come here for the decor, you come here for the amazing food. And best of all, it's not just a lunch special, everything is really well priced all day. 
We have got 15 of their steamed dumplings. These are veg ones. These scallion pancakes for $3.50. And we've got this broccoli salad as well, which is about $3. You get free tea. All of your extra sauces are free as well. And it looks so good. Please don't burn me. Mm. They are so, so tasty. Now you guys, you don't just have to come here to Golden Dumpling. You could pretty much, I don't know, throw a pin at a map in Sunnybank and you could hit some really delicious, affordable Asian food. So come here to Golden Dumpling if you wish, or look it up and find somewhere else to go. They have every type of cuisine you can imagine and it's all really authentic and delicious. The sun is out this afternoon, so we have had a change of outfit for a change of activities. Now we have come out here to beautiful Wellington Point. It is so gorgeous out here. Lots of families out and lots of really cute dogs. Everyone out just enjoying the sunshine. Now, if you want to time your visit for low tide like we have, you can come right out here to the point and you can do the one kilometer walk out and one kilometer back walk to King Island which you can see over there and it is just beautiful the water is casting all kinds of great reflections here in these little pools and it's just such a beautiful way to spend the afternoon and totally free You could do this walk and it is so beautiful honestly this is a really great experience and something i will be coming back and doing again a lot the sunsets here are absolutely spectacular this is just the perfect spot to sit for a little while get away from it all soak in the fresh air and just feel like you are much further away from everything than you really are and if you're visiting from out of town this is a perfect way to experience something unique in brisbane that Probably a lot of locals don't even come and do. I've never been out here and we don't live all that far from here. So you guys definitely put this on your list. Now, if you want to take your experience out here to the next budget friendly level, I would definitely recommend grabbing yourself some fish and chips or packing a picnic, bringing something out here with you. So you can sit over there. They have a beautiful kind of a jetty. What is that? An esplanade kind of an area. You can sit along the seawall there and watch the sunset and not have to worry about the tide coming up. Tuck into your fish and chips and just make the night last a little bit longer. But for us, we are done for today. Now you guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode and discovering some of Brisbane's best budget friendly hidden gems. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of a jolt of inspiration for your very own Brisbane itinerary. And if you're a local and you're watching hopefully we shared a few things you didn't know you could do and if you have some great budget friendly tips of your own please share them we would love to check them out all right you guys I hope you have enjoyed this video now if you don't already be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below I hope you have a great weekend and we will see you with a brand new episode next week love you oh.